scholastic assessment test, grade point average, or more widely known as the SAT and GPA. I'm sure there are many more tests out there such as the ACT, FCE, MCAT, and a lot more the students must take in order to get classified. And I bet every high schooler in this room has heard a great deal about those and is aware of their importance for their future. And the core of this whole classification is narrowed down to the students' performance at school and mainly their grades. However, to what extent are these grades important for your own future? And what do they really mean to you as an individual? Now, I understand that for many of you, high school may be a very distant memory, but just for the duration of this talk, I would like you to pretend that you're a high schooler. So I would like you to turn to the person next to you and just brainstorm a few words with which you can describe what getting a good grade means to you. Go. Okay, time's up. Raise your hand if you said something similar to stable future. Okay, not so many of you. Raise your hand if you said something similar to success. Okay, that's definitely more. Now, you see the answers may vary, but one thing that can be concluded from your responses is that getting good grades is pretty important in a high schooler's life. For many of you, it is even the definition of success. And still, you may see nothing wrong with that, and neither do I, just striving for excellence, getting to the A. But there is a very strong connection between grades and one issue that is unfortunately not very often discussed or even noticed. And it is the students' confusion about their future plans and studies, and basically what to do with their life after high school is over. That's why I decided to conduct a survey in our high school to see if it was just me feeling this way or the feeling was common. The questions were the following. Do you know for sure what you want to study in university? Do you often find yourself stressing about grades? Do you believe the grades are important for your future? And is getting good grades your main focus in high school? Now, to the first question, it turns out 14.6% of our high schoolers have absolutely no idea what they're doing with their life after high school, while 41.6% still claim to be unsure. Altogether, this makes 56.2% of the high school body that still feels confused about their future studies and plans. To the second question, 70.8% responded with yes, meaning that the vast majority of our high schoolers report to experience, experience stress about grades on a daily basis. To the third question, not surprisingly, the majority responded with yes. 76.4% believe that good grades ensure good future. The fourth question, a tricky question in fact, our high school was almost divided. While half of our students see further than just grades in their high school experience, the other half seems to be going to school with just one goal, get good grades. Now to sum up, the majority of our high school students are stressed about grades, unsure about their future studies, at the same time believe that grades are vital for their future. And half of these students have just one main goal during these four years of high school education, get good grades. And still, you may see nothing wrong with that, but there is a very strong relation. I came to the realization that grades play a huge role in the concept about confusion. A 2002 University of Michigan study revealed that 80% of students base their self-worth on their grades. The lower their grade, the lower their self-esteem, academic risk-taking, and creativity. And this is what caught my attention. I always wonder, what was it so hard that made it for students to simply identify their passion and choose what to study in the university? And then I came to the realization that grades are one of the main causes of this problem. And now, I'll help you visualize it. Middle school was a very peaceful time of our lives because grades pressure hadn't yet knocked on the door. Suddenly, high school, we see it ruthlessly smashing through the window, hand in hand with a magnificent A+. And in all these scales, we're still wondering what's going on, and we see the so beautiful A running away from us. And so we start chasing it. 
it turns to our main goal in high school, getting to the A, striving for excellence. Still, you may see nothing wrong with that, except the stress, peer pressure, culture pressure, family pressure, fear of failure, but I'm not here to talk to you about this. Now, we are running, all students are. We see our destination and want to get closer to it. Sleepless nights, huge mugs of coffee, a little bit of tears here and there, and in the end, we find ourselves standing next to our trophy, this so beautiful A+. We made it. We finally made it. And then we look back. And this is what we see. Exactly. Wonder why? Well, let's say we've been running on different roads for each subject. And in the perfect scenario, we get to the so wanted A. But then, when we've achieved this so perfect diploma and we have to choose, in that, well, choose in that, to study in that so great university, we simply don't know. And many students feel confused about this. Many students fail to answer simple questions like, which road did I enjoy the most? Or which road was closest to my passions? Or which road felt right here that is the one I want to follow later in life? Those are simple questions. Many students fail to answer them. See, while we're wondering what's going on, we forget to stop, ask ourselves why we're doing this. But the truth is that we only keep running because we feel the need that we have to. In order to be successful, get into the perfect college, get the perfect job. We all have this desire for perfection, but in the end, when we've achieved our perfect diploma, we have to choose what to study in that so great university. We don't know. And the reason is because high school was meant to be a time where a student develops new interests and passions and understands their own motivation for their future. Today, students not only fail to achieve this, but the main focus is shifted to only getting good grades. Good grades that are going to serve for what exactly in your life? Raise people's opinion about you? or perhaps to improve your confidence, or maybe to convince you that graduating from Harvard will make you a better person and better at performing your job than anybody else? There is a Bulgarian saying I absolutely love. It says, every miracle for three days. Time will pass and you will forget about the grades you earned in high school. And then you may realize that during all these years of education, you've been so busy looking successful with top grades rather than actually being successful in terms of understanding your own self and making the right choices for your own future. But let me tell you something. All these education problems that exist have nothing to do with the schools. They have everything to do with us, our mindset and our values. We need to fundamentally change our vision of bad grades in order to improve the usefulness of high school and actually make these five years worth it. Don't let some letters overwhelm you and take you away from your passions, relationships, and dreams. Because in the end of this so exhausting marathon, we realized that it was not the destination that mattered. It was the journey. Thank you. <laughs>